Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I'm looking at finding the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. And remember that form is y equals mx plus b. So in this problem, they say the slope is 3. And remember, slope is abbreviated with m. So our m is 3. And it's passing through a point negative 6, 3. B is our y-intercept, and a y-intercept has a zero in the x place. So this is not the y-intercept. So we can find it, though, because we know this is our x, and this is our y, and that's our m. So y is 3, and m is 3, and x is negative 6, and we don't know what b is. That's what we're trying to find. And so 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. And if I add 18 to both sides, I get 21 equals b. And now my equation then is instead of m, I'm going to put 3. And instead of b, I'm going to put 21. And that's the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. Let's look at another example of that. Um, we have a slope of negative 1 fifth, and it's passing through the point 5, negative 9. Again, I want the mx plus b form. I know that this is my x and y, and they give me the m, so y is negative 9. m is negative 1 fifth. x is 5, and I'm going to find b. By multiplying these two things, that gives me negative 1 plus b, and then add 1 to both sides, and that gives me b is negative 8. So y equals m, which is negative 1 fifth, x minus 8. All right. And here's a couple more that are a little more difficult, but I wanted to show this method with different ways. Right here, they tell you that we have the point negative 7, 2, and an x-intercept of 2. Well, x-intercept, I know, is what we get when y is 0. So that's a point, and this is a point. So now what I'm going to do is find the slope by finding the slope between these two points of that line. They didn't give us the slope in this question. So I'm going to subtract my y's on the top. Let's say I'd say 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0, those are my y's. And then negative 7 minus 2 is what's going to go on the bottom. And that's going to give me 2 over negative 9. So my slope is negative 2 ninths. And then I can pick either one of these points. Why not pick the x-intercept where something is 0? That seems the easiest. So here's my x and my y. y equals mx plus b. My y is 0. My slope is negative 2 ninths. And um, my x is 2 plus b. So if I simplify that, I get negative 4 ninths plus b. And if I bring that 4 ninths to the other side, I get that b equals, that should be positive, right? 4 ninths equals b. So I found out what my slope was, and I found out what my b is, and then y equals negative 2 ninths x plus 4 ninths. And one more with two points. The, I'm passing through these two points right here, and I'm going to first find the slope. I'm going to find the slope by subtracting those two y's. Let's say negative 3 minus negative 4, and then 4 minus 5. Negative 3 minus negative 4 is actually negative 3 plus 4, so that's 1, and then 4 minus 5 is negative 1, so I get negative 1 for a slope. Remember, I have y equals mx plus b. I want to find m and b. I just found m. Now I'm going to go back and pick one of those points. doesn't matter which one you pick. Let's pick this one. We have x and y. And then I'll say um, the y is negative 4. The m was neg negative 1. x was 5. I don't know b. But when I simplify that by adding 5 to both sides, I get 1 equals b. So I have y equals negative 1x 
plus 1, and I would just write that as negative x plus 1. All right, that's it. Thank you, and have a fantastic day.